Yeah. Okay. That those who are found of using derogatory comments on other people, those who are found using derogatory comments on other people, they themselves will notice that they have low self esteem. Okay. That is a hypothesis that can be proven right or wrong. But from where I sit, that, that is that is the, hypothesis. Yes, right. okay. that is what I can establish. Okay. You see, there's it's a psychological analysis that look, someone sits and someone is doing something positive, then he says that, oh, but this guy is just a small boy. I uh, were here when he, he can't do anything. That's all. All that he's doing it to just end here. You, you get it. Mm-hmm. That is a comment. That is a word. But you you realize that. It is kind of downplaying the morale of someone. Sure. Now ask yourself, what the comment that this person is passing, it means that whatever the other person is doing, he doesn't believe in it. And he hopes that it will fail. <laughs> and so if you are sitting somewhere and you think that what this person is doing, that person will fail. It means that you yourself, you can't even do what he's doing. I, I'm sure you, uh, sure you understand the point. Sure. And so that is why I've established that hypothesis that such people, because of that low esteem in them, mm-hmm. they themselves, they could have done something good. Mm-hmm. They could have. If they had reason with the person. See, sometimes you can discover potential because human beings, we are not uh, static or we are not stagnant. We grow. And so as we grow our potentials, are always it, it comes out as we grow our maturity comes experiences and skills you get it sometimes you can just do something then you didn't realize that it, it is it is now that i've discovered that i can do this but once someone is doing something and you don't reason with the person you never you never uncover what you have even within you okay. because you don't believe in what someone is doing and if you don't believe how do you then think in line with what the person is doing. Because some of the potentials, we learn it from other people. And if you don't get inspired by what someone is doing, definitely you wouldn't even want to do what the person is doing. Sure. Some, some of us are writers. Some give witnesses that, look, we've seen you write. We like how you write. Such people, they want to learn from us. Mm. We, we are just starting to know, but someone elsewhere have sat somewhere read your article then comes out to tell you that look i've read some of your articles this is how they are inspirational it is this is that now by virtue of this i also want to start writing you get it i also want to start it tells you that there's that kind of potential in him the zeal for him to also start writing but because he's inspired by what you do you see that he also begins to pick up sure so that you also mentor that person to also start but ask yourself, on the contrary, the person who now sits down to condemn what you do, they don't even get attracted to what you do. They could have written better, hmm. but they are not inspired by what you do. You know, they, they just sit somewhere and then they say all, kind of, all, all kinds of things. If not because they say these words, they say them. And you see, once you say it, such people, excuse me to say, they are arrogant. Okay. They go by their words. Once they say it, there's no day that they will come to you and tell you that, look, I like what you do. And so I want you to help me. Because they, it's a mark. Oh, they have said this before. And so wait, for them, they can't. It, like they can't go against what they said some time ago. And so there would have been opportunities for them, for them to exploit the potential that they have, for them to discover the potentials that they have within them. Unfortunately, because of the derogatory comments that they have passed already, that opportunity is gone. Okay, so how can you turn negative to positive? Yes, turning them, you see, it takes humility. Okay. What, what makes people to make these comments is because of lack of humility, ignorance, and arrogance. You see, human beings can destroy themselves. I've always maintained there are two ways individuals can destroy themselves. One is pride, and two is arrogance. Okay. He feels too big that, look, this small boy, uh, after all, I'm, I'm older than him. Yes, 
And so whatever that you do, they try to prejudice it, they play you down. They could have picked something from you. You get to discover the potentials that they have, even better than how you even do it. Because yes, there are people like that. Like, you see, we are not all the same. There are people who are humble. Because they have started something small, other people will see the vision in them, approach them, and they become bigger than them. It's because of the level of humility that has differed. But you realize that when we are going to measure it, the, the negatives and the positives. So someone can be doing something which is um, right, and the other person thinks that, well, this person is just, is just a small boy, and so for me, I wouldn't approach it. So you have to get rid of these things, pride and arrogance. Other than that, there's no way we can convert the negatives into positives. Okay. So once you're able to discover, once you're able to do with these two, pride and arrogance. And look, there are many ways for people to get rid of this. Okay. Once you're able to get rid of it, there's no way that you not so, so what, what are the ways? The ways, as I said, is just to do away with pride mm-hmm. and arrogance. So how... Now, to do that, let's say, for example, I have, I've seen someone who is doing something that I don't know. Okay. I don't know. But I just want to get rid of arrogance and pride. Just approach the person. Just approach the person and oh look, I like what you do. Can you teach me? I'm telling you, just just say it, and you'll be free. I'm telling you, just say it, even if you are not willing to learn, but just say it to the person. I'm telling you, there, there, there's that kind of spirit in you that would tell like it will just make you a free person. You get it. Sure. These things go along with jealousy. It goes along with envy. So once you are able to get rid of um, arrogance and pride, then you can now change them into positives. Other than that, it's going to be difficult because you are not willing to sit with anyone. You think you are always on top, which, so, so which is not possible. Are you? Uh, what are the um, what are the things you are supposed to do in order to get rid of? Uh, um, arrogance and then pride. Yes, so as I've said, you see, it's based on the context. Other, we can't have specifics, but the example I've given, uh-huh. based on this context, is that you have to approach the person. That's the first thing. Approach the person. Look, I've seen you on this medium. I've seen your works. It's good. I like it. Just that alone. You know, it's okay. Mm-hmm. You get it. That is okay. Then continue doing it you just keep doing it people you you don't understand but at some point because you begin to appreciate what the person is doing then your ideas will now start coming but if you don't appreciate what someone is doing how then can you start yourself okay it's going to be hard for you because you also have that mentality that if you do this someone else like you would condemn you just as we've condemned the other person so to get rid of the arrogance and the pride that I've talked about, that is what we should do. Just approach the person. Oh, just admire the work. Okay. All right. So, um, uh, Christian. Yes, sir. How can you turn negative into positive? Well, um, 